Hey guys, it's Lori Ballen in Las Vegas with Keller Williams. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you my seller smart plan. This is the smart plan that I put my home valuation leads on or any other potential sellers. So on the left hand side, I'm going to go down here to smart plans. For those of you that are just getting introduced to KW Command, smart plans are your email and text campaigns. That's I don't know how else to say it. We always refer to those as campaigns. It's your funnel. It's your touches. Okay. And you can use ones that they created. You can um, build your own. And I will let you know too that my brothers, Jeff and Paul Helvin at Fallon Brands also build these and sell them, including installing them right on your command for you. All right, so let's take a look at my seller campaign. All right, so step one, let's, you know what, let's edit it so that we can look at it a little bit better. I'm just actually logging in right now to uh, work my lead, so this was good timing. So home valuation lead comes in or they fill out some sort of an opt-in that would be a seller opt-in, something like, if you look over here on my Ballon Group Homes website, this is my KW Command website. Up here, I've got a home value, I've, I've got an instant home value estimate. I made this page because, give it a second to populate there. I made this page because one of the, um, this has been one of my top lead generation sources for years uh, is making an offer for an instant home value estimate, although mine typically come in from uh, ranking on the search engines from a blog that has to, that relates to like how much does it cost to sell a house, and then I have this home value estimate and they fill it out. You could run ads to these, that type of thing. Okay, I'll put a link below to the company that provides this widget. It's called Listings to Leads, and I get a, you get a 30-day free trial with my link and I'm also an affiliate which basically means if you wind up making a purchase I also benefit so this is what I use for my real estate business and then when somebody registers to fill that out I get an email that somebody has filled out a home valuation request all right and then I put them into command and if you can do funnels and funnel leads into command too that's a whole nother conversation something some some software works better than others but anyway I can manually enter them or import them in so here's the first one that they get so they get a text message see where it says send SMS and it says contact first name so let's just go with Mike Mike it's been a while since we last interacted when can we connect again Oh, I just realized I pulled up the wrong smart plan. That's the revival. Hold on. I was like, wait a minute. We've never spoken. Why am I getting that one? So Jeff was kind enough to put all of their cam uh, campaigns into my um, command, and I didn't even notice that there's a seller arrival and a buyer arrival. Okay, so balance seller arrival and balance seller survival and balance seller revival. So when we created all of our smart plans, our idea was we need smart plans that help us convert when somebody arrives. That would be a new lead or a new contact. And then we need something else that kicks in that's a survival, like a long-term touch of cultivation because we know like web leads can be months to years even out sometimes. And then we need a revival. It's kind of like a Hail Mary. Let's This person's hasn't contacted us, we're, we're, we're calling it a quote unquote dead lead. Let's throw them in the balance survival campaign and see if we can get them back. So those three kind of work together and then we have the same thing for buyer. All right, so let me open my buy, balance seller arrival. Those are like tongue twisters. And we'll look at that one. Okay, that makes so much more sense why the survival one said, hey, we haven't talked in a while. All right, here we go. Okay. Hi, Mike. My name is Lori Ballin. Did you get the information you were after online? 
So this is perfect. They filled out a home valuation request or they opted in for something. And did they get what they want? Because most of those things are on autoresponders. So if somebody fills out that home value calculator, they actually get an instant report. It's all through the system, through that separate system. So I don't need to also then send them a, another home value. They've already got it. So this is a follow-up. Did you get the information you were after online? All right. Now this is a text message. So in order to send a text message, you have to have Twilio activated. So Twilio is not free. It's a third-party software that's integrated with KW. Inexpensive. It's like a buck to have a buck a month to have your own personal uh, telephone number, and then like point zero seven to of a penny for a text message or something like that. So they get a text message and then here we have a one day delay and then they get an email. So, so Monday they get a text message, Tuesday nothing happens, Wednesday they get an email and it says, hello Mike, we never give up on helping our customers, how can we help you today? Okay, non-threatening, you know, whatever, just kind of casual. And then we wait one day and then they get another one. Hi Mike, I wanted to make sh I want to make sure you know we're available to help reach out anytime. So again, we're just these are just kind of subtle, you know, kinds of things. And they here's one that's a little we start to get to a little bit more specific. Like this one says, "Have you thought more about the price point you'd like to get for your property?" I'm almost thinking I, I want to move that one up and make that an earlier touch. But anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, I, I love these types of questions because they're not just yes or no, and it compels them to answer. Now, we're being persistent on, on purpose because we're not going to get that person talking to us otherwise. So you can be courteous and say, oh, I'm just not going to bother them that much, and that's not going to get you the listing. Or you can be persistent, and that still might not get you the listing, but it actually might. That's what we have found. So you're, you might get a response that says, go away, and that's okay too. You want them raising their hand and talking about you, talking to you in some way. Also, if you have their, their address, you can also add direct mail. Like I do with the card system, like send out cards. You can send greeting cards that they'll actually open, and, and, you, and they can be funny or holiday-related or real estate related, whatever. So now here's another one. Mike, are you interested in discussing whether or not to do improvements before you sell? Next one. Next one is that now we have a task that goes into my task to say check to see if Mike Smith has responded and try once more to connect with a call if they have not responded or put them on an appropriate follow-up campaign if they have responded. Okay. So now from here, after all of these things trigger, I can then move Mike Smith into the seller survival plan if I wanted to. But since I haven't spoken to Mike, it's probably not going to be great. Um, so I might throw him right into the revival, give it one more Hail Mary, and then just put a tag on it and put, you know, put it aside for now. Um, I also would, when I get home valuation leads, I also put them on my market report um, email. And that looks like this. Let me go back to Smart Plans. And it is right here Real Estate Market. This one's really easy. And it just says here is the latest real estate market report for Southern Nevada. Please let us know if we can help you or someone you know with any real estate needs okay now your smart plans do not automatically have a signature in it so you do have to add the signature I just realized I need to go do that in my other smart plans that Jeff put in here so you've got to have a signature down here because it does not automatically put one in okay so then they're getting this every month as well so there's just a couple ideas for how I put my sellers on smart plans after they fill out one of those home valuation requests.